hi guys welcome to my channel in this video I'm gonna show you how I have made this purple flower two years back and let me tell you this particular topic is the highly requested topic of my channel because so many of you asked how I have made that purple flower or purple rose so the answer is here so before going through the process please subscribe to my channel for inspiring me to do more videos like this also to get notified whenever I will upload any new video. So to make this you will need 6 orange colored quilling strips which is 3mm wide, 1 green quilling strip of 3mm width, 1 brown quilling strip which is also 3mm wide, 2 tones of green quilling strips of 5mm width, a piece of crepe paper which measures 3 by 2 inches, quilling tool, scissor, flower making wire, floral tape in brown color and fabicol glue. First make a long strip by joining all the 6 strips. After joining all the strips, make a coil in this way. Apply glue at the end and secure it. If it is not perfect then flatten it in this way. And mold it with your fingers to give it a pot shape. Then tap it slightly to flatten the base. Next apply glue and let it dry completely. Now we'll make the stem so cut out a small piece of wire which measures 2 inches or 2 and half inches. Then wrap the floral tape around the wire. And it is done. Now to make the flowers, cut the crepe paper in this way. Apply glue and start wrapping it from the narrow side of the crepe paper around the wire. Once you reach one fourth of the crepe paper, wrap it reverse and complete one round. Again wrap it in opposite direction. Then give some finishing touch to your flower with the help of needle or scissor.
likewise make some more flowers time to make the leaves so attach two tones of green quilling strips by using glue and cut out the leaf shapes out of the strip Apply glue at one end of the leaf and attach it to the stem. Now hold it for few seconds to secure it. Here I am trying to give the leaf a realistic look by bending it backward. Likewise, I have attached the rest of the leaves. to some flowers Here I am attaching a brown quilling strip to the top edge of the pot to give it a nice look. Make one more coil by using green quilling strip. and loosen it so that it can fit inside the pot apply glue at the end to secure it and place it inside the pot Now fill it with glue and place the flowers inside. Then hold the flowers for 10 to 15 minutes to set the glue. Otherwise the flowers will not stay in one particular place. So leave it for 4 to 5 hours to dry completely. After drying it will look like this. So these are the remaining leaves and I'm bending it with the help of scissor. Now I'll add some glue inside the pot. And place the leaves as if they are coming out of the pot.
So the flower pot is done but we need to let this dry completely. And here is the final output of this flower pot. Isn't it cute? I hope you have enjoyed this video. So please hit thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to get notified whenever I am uploading a new video. If you want to know how I did this flower pot then check out the description box below or i button above. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.